Flexing here this bitch. Heading out to uh, Reno uh, for some sad stuff. We're not heading out for fun. I uh, have to go to a funeral. But uh, I know it's been snowing up there and stuff. And only me will be heading out to Reno in cut off shirt and shorts. But it'd be like that. Getting some road snacks and drinks. Gotta wait on these two. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb over here. What the hell is she waiting for? She already paid. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Oh, there she was waiting for her big brother. Aww. How cute. Oh, were well, you waiting for your big brother to finish? Oh, how cute. What'd you say, smartass? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was she waiting for her big brother to finish? You were probably scared to be by himself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All you see is Goku's face. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and there's Crystal, like always, looking at food. There's your sister, always checking out the food. <laughs> All right, we're passing Boomtown over here. And a uh, quick funny story that I always think about every time I think about Boomtown or I go past it. My my grandpa used to drive truck and he was taking a load out to Reno. And on the way back, he decided, you know what? I'm going to stop at Boomtown and gamble and eat. So he eats, he does a little gambling, and he goes to leave and he sees fire trucks flying over to where all the, the semis are parked. And he's like laughing. <laughs> Some poor bastard's truck's on fire, <laughs> laughing his ass off. And as he got closer, he realized he was the poor bastard, and his truck was on fire. <laughs> so what apparently happened was he delivered what he had to deliver and had some furniture blankets on the ground, and someone must have walked by and chucked a cigarette and landed in the blanket. So then he just grabbed the blanket, threw them on the back of the truck, and um, they smoldered and caught on fire while he was in Boomtown. So, which always makes me laugh because then my uncle will always say, this is why you fold your blankets before you leave, a furniture blanket. <laughs> that same trailer we had for years when I worked at, uh, with my uncle at Safe, we had that trailer for years with plywood right over. And every time someone would say, what happened to your floor down here? And we get to tell the story about the time my grandpa almost set the truck on fire. That's my boop town story. I was gonna say is um, like the cool thing about you know circus circus is because then it's connected to Silver, Silver Legacy, Legacy, which would fucking suck my balls because I lost my ass over there. Silver Legacy and, and uh, El Dorado. Yeah, El Dorado. Remember when? Remember we went here for was it Daniel's wedding? Yeah. And the fucking viewer at Silver Legacy, she fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, uh, hit me. The nice baseball stadium they got out here. We're in Reno. Ice skating. Guess what I won't be doing because I don't feel like killing myself. You talking about piss again, man? Yep. <laughs> Taking these long ass awesome power pisses. Evacuation come. Evacuation. <laughs> hey man, it's not my fault I drank a lot of prior. Hey, shake it more than three times to find yourself. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> this thinks he's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> fucking loser. Fucking <laughs> loser. He's like, look at my hoodie and my Nike hat. Yeah. Alright, well, fuck it. I'll trade. Was somebody in your guys' bathroom? Mom had to use this, so I went to your guys'. Oh. Your mom blew it up? Mom had to take a dump. She's Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're a 
fucking dick, you know that? We out here in Reno. Go ahead. Oh, come on. Come on, Dad. Well, goodbye Reno, we're heading out. I mean, we were out here for a sad reason, but still had a good time. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs>